Good Monday morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, and I'm starting my day with a half a cup of egg whites and one egg, and one Ezekiel 49 bread toasted, a half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Uh, plain, but I added like a teaspoon of skinny syrup to it. Blueberry lavender flavor. And then I have one banana and a half an apple and two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. And that is going to start my day. So one point. And something about the Ezekiel 49 sprouted grain bread. One is one point. Two used to be, I thought it used to be two points, but two is coming up as three points. So that's interesting. Um, and then, so that's one point. This is zero, 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 zero. No, one for the pumpkin seeds. One, two, and that's it. Two points for the breakfast. Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning. Uh, if you hear, I think he's gone now, but if you hear a helicopter, there's been one outside my window circling not too far off. They're looking for a bad guy, I guess, and I hope they find him. Anyway, um, I wanted to check in with you because I've been gone for a bit. It's been really, really busy, and uh, today is going to be even more busy, but I did want to check in with you. I am going to do what I eat in a day uh, starting today, and... Um, I just, I've been starting them over the last couple of days and I haven't been able to get back to them, so I just, you know, nixed the videos. Um, I don't know. I feel like when Wednesday comes and I have to weigh in, I don't think I'm going to lose anything this week. Not because I think I've been going to town I and mean, we have eaten out a couple of times. Um, there were a couple of, you know, things out of the ordinary, but nothing crazy or anything like that. I just feel like it's been so busy that I really haven't had the mindset of, I've been more survival mode and not really like, let me streamline my diet and hold uh, hone it in. You know what I mean? You know how that is when you're like, I gotta go through here, I gotta get the, I have to make a sandwich instead of do this Whole Foods little Buddha bowl or whatever, you know what I mean? Because you're on the run and that's how it's been, you know what I mean? Or we've had functions to go to and so it wasn't exactly what I would have planned. Um, I'm not complaining about it, it's just it's just uh, reality, right? Now, Thursday night, I said we were going on a date night. It didn't happen because the kids function got canceled, so Honey and I didn't get to go anywhere. Um, but what we decided to do, it got kind of busy. We said, you know what, let's just pick up a couple of little Caesars pizzas for the kids. And so we did. And I had two pieces. I could have stopped at one, but I just pushed it and I ate another one because I thought this is really good. <laughs> and so that was, I don't remember the points, but I did put them in and, and I'm like, wow, that adds up. Two pieces really adds up. And then Friday, since we were studying uh, Russia, we do a different country every year, uh, every year, every week in homeschool, and Russia was last week. And so we went to a place on Friday called Pierogi Village. It was listed under Russian restaurants, but it was more like uh, Ukrainian and Polish food. They had a lot of pierogies, which is like little dumplings, and they had all kinds of really cool ones like spinach and feta and um, all different kinds of meats, um, cheese and potato, um, and then they had some dessert ones with like blueberry or raspberry in them, and those were really good. So we got like a couple of plates that had 10 each, and so Honey and I and the kids all, you know, got to eat. I think we all had like two each. Um, and then let's see what else. Henny got a Polish sandwich and I got a Wiener schnitzel to share with everybody. We all split. And then Honey and I shared a bowl of borscht, which I've never had borscht before. And I always wanted to try it. Um, it's like a red beet and cabbage soup. For some reason, I always thought it was cold, but I think I'm getting that mixed up with like gazpacho or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, it was hot and it was really tasty. So I'm, I may try to make it sometime. 
I don't know if I can make it like this because this was really good. Everything was very authentic. It was like eating a, a, in a grandmother's house, I think. It was just every, there were doilies and tea sets everywhere. And, and it had this beautiful, just, you know, really amazing decor. There was a grandfather clock sitting by the table. I felt like we were sitting like at a dining room table. It wasn't like an out to eat table. You know what I mean? Um, it was really interesting. Uh, but anyway, so after that, uh, I did take the kids to use one of, we've had like a stash of gift cards to Cold Stone. Uh, and every now and then we break one out and try to use one. This was the last time and then we're done with them. Uh, but I, so we got an ice cream there. If I would have to pick an ice cream place, I would say um, Dairy Queen, just because when we go to Dairy Queen, we don't feel sick afterward. And I thought this was interesting. We go to Cold Stone, everybody feels sick. Everybody's just like, oh, I can't. And um, so I was looking up the nutritional information and I thought, why? Why is that happening? So um, according to their website, Dar Dairy Queen says that their soft serve ice cream can't um, technically be labeled as ice cream just because uh, they have less than 5% uh, milk fat or butter fat, whatever it is, buttermilk fat, um, in, their, in their product. And so I thought, okay, that's probably why we don't feel sick afterward. But then when I look up Cold Stone's nutritional information, they say they have about 12, I think it's 12 to 14% or 10 to 12% uh, milk fat in theirs. So theirs is, you know, significantly higher because it, it affects us that way. And so I think that's why we prefer Dairy Queen. So, uh, Probably, I mean, not that Dairy Queen is a health food by any stretch, but as far as like fat goes, it would be better for you, I think, than Cold Stone or better for us anyway. And I did the same looking into with pizza as well. We all have our, you know, choice on what our favorite pizzas are. And usually people always say their favorites are like a Brooklyn style pizza or something that's got like tons of cheese and toppings. And um, I don't know, we don't like the thin crust. We like, we like a good thick crust. Uh, and usually our favorite is a place called um, Verrazano's, they, which I think they make a Brooklyn style pizza. Really good pizza, super loaded with cheese and fatty stuff. But, um, you know, we do like Little Caesars, which is like super duper cheap, right? It's like six bucks for a large pepperoni. Um, and I was looking into the nutritional info because I thought, you know what? I wanna know what I'm eating. I'll bet that this is just the worst pizza on earth. That's why it's so cheap. Surprisingly so, it's not. It's actually, and again, it's not health food by any means, but um, it is probably better than most pizzas, unless you're going to a place that makes health food pizzas or you're making it yourself. But I mean, if you're just gonna grab something that's out there, most of their, most of their ingredients are fresh and they are minimal, as far as like, like their sauce has minimal, uh, amounts of ingredients in it. You know they hardly put that much cheese on it, so you don't get a whole lot of that, but it is a, a better, higher quality cheese, which really surprised me. So looking at that, um, and we don't generally feel real sick after we eat Ce Little Caesars too, so that explains a lot too. The fat, I think, content is a lot lower in it. Um, and so it's not, I wouldn't call it a whole food, but it's leans a little bit more in that direction, I guess, as far as like minimally, um, you know, different things added to it and stuff like that. That was a real eye opener. So I don't feel so bad when we have to eat a little Caesar anymore, pizza. But um, anyway, so yes, it's just that we've kind of been all over the place in the last three days. And although I've been conscious about what I've been doing and adding in my points, I really don't see a loss happening this week. Um, and I think one thing I've noticed too is that um, I am very capable of stress eating. And so I really have to be aware of that. I am getting more and more 
stressed as uh, my, I have surgery on the 13th, and as that's approaching, it's like what, 11, 12 days away, I'm getting more and more nervous about that. Um, I'll be honest about it. Uh, I, I have a pre-op appointment today, and I'm going to begin uh, documenting that journey for radical hysterectomy on our Sweetwater Place channel, which is listed below. So if you want to see it, come over and um, just subscribe and you'll be able to get those updates. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video probably today um, talking about why I'm having a hysterectomy and it's going to get kind of personal. So that's going to be over on the Sweetwater Place channel. Um, but I just feel like you know, I really want to see other people's um, experiences, positive experiences. I'm trying to stay away from the negative ones because I really don't need that right now. Um, I'm already nervous enough as it is. But I want to be able to be a resource for someone else like me who's looking, going, just tell me it's going to be okay. You know, show me your, what you're going through. I want to know that it's it's okay and things are going to get back to normal at some point. So I'm hoping, you know, that's the experience I have and that I'm able to share it on that other channel. So anyway, um, there's that. I will be showing you what I eat in a day for the next few days, I will try to document that, and um, I hope you're doing great. Um, yeah, I got to just hone in and be conscious about not stress eating this week because it's going to be busy. So, uh, okay, guys, thanks so much for checking in, and I will see you soon. Bye. All right, this is my lunch. I'm on the go right now, so I need to have something to take with me. I have sourdough. This is a whole grain sourdough. Um, and I have two pieces of that. I'll figure out my points. And just like two ounces of lean roast beef, a thin, ultra, ultra thin slice of um, cheddar cheese and some veggies, one teaspoon of mayo. And then I've got pop chips, an orange, and a diet, Dr. Pepper, and that's what I'm going to have for lunch. I am having about a cup of Skinny Pop popcorn for a snack before dinner. All right, for dinner, I have um, about a half a cup of mashed sweet potatoes, no fat added, two-thirds cup of mixed veggies from Trader Joe's, a Sara Lee bread with a little bit of the yogurt margarine on it, and then I have a lean, uh, lean thin pork chop that I... I hammered it down and I made it into a schnitzel <laughs> at home, and I'm counting six points for that alone, uh, and that is my dinner 